Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, May 29th, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Thursday, May 30th, we still get another lunar phase fit in this month before we're into June. Uh, we got a third quarter moon in the early morning sky. The sun has been... Uh, on the news a lot recently. This big group up here has the potential to kick off some more aurora. The Earth's magnetic field is depressed and has been for um, much of the last decade or so, I guess. So it could create some aurora. This is the uh, remains of the uh, patch that gave us all the excitement <coughs> about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So. That was over in this part of the sun at that point three weeks ago. Yeah, so it's coming back around and it's let off some X-class flares already. So stuff is happening. Looking at drought from May 16th to May 23rd, uh, you can see that not much has changed. A little bit of relief down here, a little bit of worse in the four corners area. Looking nationally, whoa, that was not supposed to happen. Sorry about that. Uh, looking nationally, drought isn't really bad except West Texas and New Mexico, and I'll try to get an updated graphic next time. For smoke, we still can't zoom in on the continuous U.S. The government keeps changing their products, and they're making them, in my opinion, inferior to what they were just months ago. So this is a uh, much larger chunk of the hemisphere, lots of fire sources in Mexico, and smoke. Some of it's just getting up into the eastern plains of Colorado. Looking at our snowpack, yep, we still have snow in the mountains. You can still see some pretty snow up at the peaks. Going through the season, we went really high, dropped below when it got prematurely warm. And I think that's the last one. Let me check again. Oh, we have one more. So 156% normal, but you can see the snow amount is dropping quick. We have been kind of cool recently, so that uh, hasn't melted as quickly as it normally does. But the snowpack will be gone uh, pretty soon. There's another change. They took off the site that had the ability to pick one, three-day, five-day, seven-day, kind of a custom precipitation amount. And uh, now the best I can do is the previous month. So yay, another downgrade from the government's weather sources. So that's the best I can do. I can either do one day um, or I can do a month. I can't do a week. So you can see an awful lot of moisture has happened over the last month in the Northeast uh, corner of the state all the way down to Colorado Springs good mountain water kind of dry down here near the Oklahoma panhandle looking at the climatology for severe weather for the first week of June uh, we are right in there and so yeah June is our big severe weather time and we are already seeing some of it slip into the eastern plains so we have a marginal risk on Wednesday, extending right along I-25 and just barely to the east. We have a slight risk. We have a chance of tornadoes, 2% chance of a tornado within 25 miles of a point within the green area to the southeast of Denver and to the east of Greeley. For Thursday, uh, the marginal risk is right back to almost Denver, almost up to northern I-25 communities. This usually does expand on the day of, so keep an eye open for severe weather again on Thursday. Friday, just general thunderstorms possible with a slight risk down in Texas. This is the surface forecast map with chance of convection up into the mountains. We have that severe band going all, all the way up to Canada, down to about Kenton, Oklahoma. On Thursday, it kind of limits down to the southeast. As a cold front pushes through the state, stabilizing the lower atmosphere, we can still get some thunderstorms with lingering moisture. Our normal high is now going from 7, 77 to 80, 47 to 50 at night. <coughs> we are definitely leaving spring and heading into summer. That's only three weeks away astronomically, but um, meteorological summer starts on the 1st of June. Every afternoon we see pulsing chances of thunderstorms. It kind of decreases in the middle of next week as things get really hot. Not reflected here. Come on, weather service. 
let's get some real good stuff going again. Uh, moisture is pretty good in the northern part of the state. It's becoming pretty dry south of us in the southern part of Colorado. And let's put this into motion. So we can see there's a trough coming through, and that's what's kicking off the severe chances um, acting on the heat and the moisture down below. We kind of go into zonal flow through the weekend. Another trough is approaching, but uh, maybe it enhances storms. Maybe we'll see a little bit of severe nearby. But by the beginning of next week, we get this ridge building, and that brings the heat. So we're going to see some 90s for the first time in six, seven months, I think. It's been a long time since we felt 90s around here. Into the following weekend, still pretty much under the ridge with this little trough just hanging around Southern California. So we do see the little blobs of purple, the afternoon thunderstorms there, right there. And then that cool air moves away. Little blobs right there all through the weekend. There's more thunderstorms for the weekend, afternoons, and again. And then the heat really starts to kick in. The thunderstorms kind of shut off, get suppressed by the sinking air in the ridge through Wednesday. That's a lot of above normal temperatures, and normal is pretty warm. So yeah, that's a lot of heat coming in. There's th afternoon thunderstorms trying to do something, but they're really widely scattered and pretty small into the following weekend. As for precipitatable water, uh, it's being pushed out by this initial trough, but some kind of lingers, especially east of the Continental Divide, and it gets kind of reinforced from the west. So the moisture is around for those afternoon thunderstorms. Here comes a big bunch of moisture coming in from the Pacific and Northwest. And then we go into the ridge time, and even if the moisture is here, yeah, it's uh, getting to be pretty stable. It's hard to get those afternoon thunderstorms to do much. So the moisture is around, but not able to do much. Looking at dew points, pretty high dew points. with uh, That supports our chance of severe weather with 40s, almost 50 dew points at the surface. Not making it to the western side of the mountains. And through the weekend... We still have 50s dropping to the 30s a little bit by Monday. Uh, dew points do surge every now and then back under the 50s. There's 55 around Fort Collins through the week. So it'll be hot and humid, but just not a lot in the way of thunderstorm activity. Yeah, 60 dew points trying to get into the state. So see these afternoon thunderstorms pop up. There's Saturday, um, Wednesday's severe weather. There's Thursday's chance. There's Friday's chance of storms. Saturday's pulse of storms. Definitely more significant south and east of the state. But as we get into the week, we really dry out. There's not a lot in Colorado at all. Through Wednesday noon, a little bit of stuff right there Wednesday. <clears throat> There's Thursday noon. So we might see later in the week a return of these afternoon storms, but they're you know, kind of scattered. There's into next weekend. And afternoon storms. So as precipitation goes, it is those afternoon storms forming out on the plains primarily and moving off that's dropping moisture on the farmland, so that's good. Western Colorado staying pretty dry. Not much changes adding 10 days in. I don't have the snowfall map because there's like a little teeny bit in the highest elevations above 12, 13,000 feet. It's just not worth mentioning, except I did mention it. So we see almost 90 on Wednesday dropping down as, as the trough goes by with a good chance of some severe weather nearby on Thursday. Chances of thunderstorms kind of continue but decrease through the weekend as temperatures increase into the mid 90s. So be ready next week for hot, muggy, kind of stale weather. Again, from last time, the June outlook has this above normal for temperatures and about normal for precipitation. <clears throat> so for frequent weather updates and local news, check out the Longmont Leader. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth urging you to keep looking up.